Hi everyone, it's Mike with Presentation Plus Ups. In this episode, I'm gonna share five reasons I love OBS Studio and I think you will too. Let's get started. Okay gang, right now we are in OBS Studio. Hello everyone, how's it going? Um, and I think it's time that we really talk about some of these amazing hidden gem usages of OBS Studio. So for those that aren't familiar with it, it's open broadcast or software. It's great for video recording. It's great for live streaming. A lot of people use this on YouTube. It's free. Uh, it's a little more on the PC side versus the Mac side in terms of an experience, but I just love it. I've been using it for four years. So let's talk about my five reasons. And number one is the ability to use this as your virtual camera in Zoom Teams WebEx. It's amazing. So. If you look down on my console here, you can see where my mouse is. There is this virtual camera button. And mine says stop because right now I'm using that in Zoom or Teams to be my camera. So let me show you how that works here. So I'm gonna bring Zoom or Teams over onto my screen here. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and bring this up so you can get a feel of how this is working. You can see this right here on my screen. I am in the device section of Teams in this case, and I'm gonna go down here to the video settings and I click on this button and you can select any sources you have. You can see I've got a lot of different camera options. I'm not gonna actually select one of my real cameras. Instead, I'm gonna select OBS virtual camera. And that gives you that ability as long as you've hit the start button here. If you've not hit the start button, what you're going to see is something that looks a little like this on this screen. So let me make this a little larger. And um, yeah, let's just bring this up so you can see. All right, so if I go ahead and hit the stop virtual camera button, what you see is this crazy looking uh, disc ninja star, something like that. The second you go ahead and hit start virtual camera, that goes and, and activates right there. So that is the first thing. So that's the technical deal. Let's talk about why I love OBS Studio as my virtual camera and why I will never not use it as long as I humanly can. And that's the ability that you now have a true broadcast mix that you can bring into your webcam for personality. So right now, I'm just gonna to go to a second uh, camera that I have. So I've got several different webcams hooked to my computer. So I have unmatched ability to set, to sequence. Uh, if, you, if we go back here to my main camera, you're gonna notice that we have a really clean green screen. I've got a, a very popular video, at least by my standards popular, not Kardashian popular or Mr. Beast popular, but a super clean green screen. You can see my hands are set up, you have the ability here to, to do that. So if I just turn off my green screen filter for a second, you're gonna see that uh, I got a green screen and this mixes it perfectly. Now, this is not a how-to video. This is more of ways I like to use it. I do have very detailed videos that show you how to use that kind of thing. But this ability is amazing. Uh, not only that, but you have the ability to do some really handy things like you wanna put graphics on screen. You wanna put timers on a screen and, and run a countdown timer. You've got that ability. If you wanna switch your background to something else, you can do that at the drop of a hat with OBS Studio. So I, I can say this without a doubt, I love it. I love the fact that if I just don't feel like being on camera, I can actually just hide myself. So if I bring this back here for a second and uh, I just wanna go ahead and hide myself, I can bring myself off camera without turning off my camera. I can bring myself back on camera. Um, I can go to different sources. So for example, if I just wanna have a safety screen going, um, the point is that when you have OBS Studio as your virtual camera, you have the world to, uh, to choose from. And there's all kinds of great videos out there that can show you how to fly the ship, specifically how to set up scenes and sources. If you look at my scenes, I mean, I've got everything you could potentially imagine in here in terms of scenes and sources. I've got fake me in there. So if I just don't feel like being in a meeting and I <laughs> just wanna have that up, 
I can go ahead and have fake me up there. I mean, I don't do that often, um, but occasionally if, I, if I'm just needing a little bit of a laugh or levity. Okay, so that's number one. Hopefully I've encouraged you to check out the virtual camera feature. It's amazing. Okay, the second reason I love and depend on OBS Studio is unmatched presentation control. So you can see, first of all, I talked about the virtual camera. Well, a lot of people stop there and don't think about what if you use that as your screen share option in Zoom or Teams? I mean, it, if, you, if you do this, and I've got a crazy detailed video on this, you can unlock the ability to really have your own broadcast studio in Zoom or Teams right from your house. So I'm going to I'm going to give you the the very quick example of how to do that. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have one screen that's going to do nothing but take your broadcast mix, okay? So for me, I have one screen. I've got three screens here that I use and depend on every day, and I've got one screen that does nothing except right up there, and if I point to it, You can see my, my hand mirrored because I'm already projecting this OBS mix, this, this program, onto that screen. Okay, so let's talk about how you do this and why you would care. So what I do really quickly is I, in this area below the program, so not preview, but program, I right-click it, I hit full screen projector program, and I select the appropriate monitor, okay? So since I've already done that, I'm not gonna duplicate it. But then when I'm in Zoom or Teams, all I need to do if I'm gonna screen share is share that screen. All right, so let me give you the quick update on how I do that, okay? This is a 17 minute video that I have available. I'm gonna set up a quick meeting here. Uh, let's just do a super quick meeting. So in this meeting, you can see here's our virtual camera. We're, we're just gonna hide that for now. I'm gonna hit join, and when I screen share, I am going to select the screen that is receiving the feed, okay? So when I do that, now I am actually sharing that screen for you. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that here in, in the mix. If you look up at that screen, you see the red Microsoft Teams screen sharing indicator. That's showing you that red line that I am sharing that screen in a Microsoft Teams meeting with myself right now. But the point is, at this point, I can go ahead and share anything we just talked about in the virtual camera as live content in a Teams or Zoom presentation. And I have to say, it's a game changer. That's number two. Hopefully you can see you have unmatched presentation control. Everything I'm doing right now, I could pipe right into that screen share in Zoom or Teams. Fantastic, it's so nice to be in that meeting and if, if I have some video queued up and I'm like, hey, you know, I really wanna show you guys something cool here, um, I can just seamlessly go to it and um, have that ability to switch between that or then go ahead and bring up some content on my screen and go picture in picture on that. It's just, you cannot believe the difference when you free yourself up and adopt more of a broadcast mentality in a Zoom or Teams meeting. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. You do need the equipment, right? You do need this type of equipment. You need multiple screens. You need a, a computer, ideally more of a, I would say not a laptop, but a tower that has a lot of plugins to make this happen. But it is so worth it. I absolutely rely on it. That's number two, unmatched presentation control. Okay, number three, and this is something that OBS Studio was built for, is the ability to cut on-demand video. Yes, it is a video recording powerhouse. In this world that we live in, this remote world, if you were in a professional job, it's highly likely that you are in a remote job. You're relying on on-demand content for how-to videos. Uh, you just wanna cut something quick. Um, I know there's a lot of softwares that you can purchase from Camtasia and places like that, but 
this is free and it's amazing. All you need to do, and I'm and I'm doing it right now. I, I cut almost all of my videos, at least the source content, through OBS Studio for my YouTube channel. And you can see right here, I'm not gonna click stop recording because I'm recording this source content right now. You just click start recording and you've got your content set up there. It's going so a couple of hot tips that I will let you know on that. I know this isn't so much of a how-to video, but in the uh, area here for recording and video, I believe it's output, uh, you can see you're going to want to set where you store that content. Ideally, I would put it on a drive that's not your C drive. That ensures that you have the ability to... Uh, not clog up your, your main drive. So that's some things. You can also set the recording format. The default is something a little wonky. Now, because I'm recording right now, I can't undo these, but I would say this, not much of a how-to video today, but I would get those right so that way you can then bring this into a video editor of your choice and do some clean edits. So whether you have Premiere Pro, Final Cut, or you're using ClipChamp from, from Microsoft. Not judging. There's a lot of ways to skin the cat there. So hopefully that's, a, that's something. I mean, the ability to cut help videos, training videos very cleanly in here and, and not have to be perfect, but just let it run and cut it and do examples. Uh, like you can see right here, bringing up a screen. Uh, you could show somebody, teach people how to use OBS Studio and set up all these crazy things. You could show somebody how to do something nuts like, oh, let me find it, you know, how to find a, a GIF of Kid Rock and bring it in here or Elaine dancing and kicking me in the head, right? I mean, you can, you can do some stuff and have some fun with this in terms of your ability to, to have a good time but also connect virtually. On-demand recordings, amazing. Hopefully you liked number three. Okay, I'm going to open up my kimono here. At least that, that's maybe a little uncomfortable. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I do a lot of proposals, and um, I have to say that I need a professional headshot sometimes. Or you just want to change that kind of thing up. This is a great way to get a headshot or a screenshot of something uh, very cleanly without doing a lot of rigmarole. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I've got to bring over the studio again for you. And I'm going to just uh, move the screen up and down a little bit. So you can see there's this area below the program feed over here where my, my, where my mouse is. And if you want to screenshot anything that's in that program feed, what you need to do is right click. Now, instead of using that full screen projector that I used in number two, you use screenshot program, okay? So here is an example. What Here's my tip for you is um, get whatever you want in this screen. So normally you're not going to screenshot your OBS help video, but uh, we're going to use that one as an example here, okay? What I want you to do is get ready to screenshot it, but then if you are taking a portrait of yourself, make eye contact with your camera, smile, and click it, okay? That's all you need to do. Now, what you wanna do is go to wherever your recordings are, and here's how you do it. You go File, Show Recordings, and there, wherever you've set that path, you're gonna see recordings. And this is me being honest and being real with you here. <laughs> you can see I have, uh, I've done some fun ones, right? Here's some examples of ones, but here's a professional one. So I just conducted a proposal for uh, a client that you might guess when you see this picture, but I dressed up nice. Uh, I put my green screen on and cut a little background picture, okay? All right, so that's the genesis of how you cut a screen recording picture. But again, super handy. Now it doesn't have to be a stupid picture of you here like this. Oh, that guy is handsome, but you know, there's me promoting a quick little social media for um, uh, being part of the team that earned a gold medal for hosting a podcast, Performance Matters, GP Strategies. Check it out. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, follow wherever you uh, consume your podcast. 
But again, it, this could be you just want to take a screenshot of a web page. You want a very clean one. You don't want to have to mess with the, the snip features. It's really unbeatable for that. I mean, you think about it, you're already using it as your virtual camera, but you're using it in so many other ways. I just love it. Okay, that's number four, professional screenshot capability. Number five, okay, if you are cutting videos of any kind, um, you'll probably learn quickly that one of the keys to a good video is a lot of B-roll. I mean, you've got your voice as the A-roll to drive it. They're going to occasionally cut to you here, but sometimes you're like, man, how do I generate all that B-roll for my videos? Well, you're going to use OBS Studio. So one of my hot tips for that is to um, set up a scene where you just record your screen. So right now I'm picture in picture. That's not quite getting it done. So I'm just going to go here to my slides only one. And I'm going to bring this one up here like this. Uh, you would obviously hit recording. But in this case, let's just say we wanted to create a little slow scroll on this screen. So we're recording it. And as B-roll, I would just go like this. And then I can use this as filler in the video when I'm talking about OBS Studio, right? You can see here, we've got that ability. If you want to just get a little B-roll of something. Um, now, I wouldn't encourage you to, to take things and try to sell it, but if you're just needing some B-roll here and you wanted to go ahead and capture it this way, this is a great way for you to just get some things to fill things right here. Hi, Alicia, how's it going there? Um, and uh, yeah, kind of fun, but the point is very powerful B-roll generator with that screen recording. So you're just thinking B-roll at this point. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm kind of liking what's happening right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it, seriously. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's just, it's so nice when people get excited about B-roll there. Okay, five reasons to recap. Let me look at my list. It's super cash today. The virtual camera, unbeatable. Number two, unmatched presentation control. Make sure you give that a try. Number three, this ability to create on-demand videos, anything from training to a personal greeting, it's amazing with OBS Studio. Number four, have fun with those professional screenshots. And number five, I'm back here, B-roll mania. It's just so fun to get that B-roll in a nice, clean way with OBS Studio. Okay, that's five tips for you. Now, this was not a how-to video. If you're needing that, please check out my channel. Hi there, how's it going, Mikes? Okay, so the deal is if you go to youtube.com at presentation plus hyphen ups, you're gonna see my channel. I have a boatload of videos, OBS Studio, PowerPoint tips and strategies. I have them mixed in different playlists for you. I've got at least 50 videos on here. Um, some are doing pretty good. This one's over 11,000 hits. So, I mean, I'm not Mr. Beast, but I'd love to keep growing the channel. I'd love to keep giving you value. So thanks again for tuning in. If you stayed with me this far, give OBS Studio a try. Thanks so much and please make it a great day.